All right, how you doing? This is Adam Rafferty, funky finger style guitarist from New York City, originally. And I'm kind of getting jiggy here with my uh, Gibson ES-135, grooving on some jazz and blues mix-up, whatever you want to call it. And I've been getting a lot of questions lately about my right-hand technique. Not because I'm the fastest, God knows I'm not, but as you can see, or as you might have seen, I'm not using a guitar pick. I'm using my thumb and a little help from my index finger. And I want to explain why I'm doing things this way. And actually, I'd love to know how do you play the electric guitar? If you, if you play electric, do you use a pick? Do you use your fingers? Do you use a thumb pick? Do you use nothing like me? No protection? It may look at first glance as though I'm trying to copy Wes Montgomery. Now he is like my number one pretty much favorite guitarist still with lots of other people coming in at number two, but he's number one. But I'm not doing this thumb, thumb thing. I'm not doing thumb thing, the thing with my thumb. I'm not doing that out of an imitative quest. I'm not trying to imitate really anybody. But players like Wes and George Benson and Joe Pass and Pat Martino, they sort of formed my concept about playing the guitar that I even bring over to fingerstyle. When I played jazz guitar, uh, I was on a quest to play fast with a pick. Matter of fact, I'm going to drop in a little bit of audio so you can hear me doing some of that. Here we go. Okay, so that gets me off the hook from having to do that in front of you. But I used to practice like a fiend with a guitar pick. But a lot of bigger musical problems for me ensued. And this is only for me because there's plenty of great players out there. You, you know, I'm talking about my inner harmony of being a musician. When I used a pick, it made this sort of aggravating sound up top. Now, I know what you're thinking. Go with fatter strings, go with a fatter pick. I did. I played 13s on an arch top, and I used these extra heavy picks. I even had custom picks made, and I was never happy with the sound. And then the most important thing I would say is the timing. And I'm going to show you something on the guitar, so get your guitar ready so you can do this along with me. There's something very binary about uh, picking. And I know there's sweet picking and everything, but it's a lot of down, up, down, up, down, up once you get going. And I found that certain kinds of phrases in bebop and in jazz, they needed downstrokes where you'd sort of not really want to put them with a pick. So there's a whole different set of physics that I found. So for example, if I'm going up a C, mi uh, a C minor seven chord, Okay, ba 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 ba. I'm at the eighth fret. Now, if I want this phrase, you got to play that last note. That last note has to be a down. And I can get that really good with the thumb. So I'm going down, do, and then the G, G with the index. And then, so what I want you to listen to now, this is going to sort of demonstrate why I like using the fingers. Listen to the timing that I'm about to play with. I'm going to kind of play something that sounds a little bit like the song T for two. I'm going to use that shape for arpeggiating chords. I'm going to go on the C minor, and then I'm going to go on a B flat major seven chord. 
It would be like T for two and two for D, but go down, but do do da da da. T for two, okay? A one, a two, check. A one, two, three. So the ease with which I can lay that timing down and get the notes to pop right, the right accents, you know, technically you might be saying, well, there's nothing technically impressive about that, but that's because you're on YouTube where you just want to see everybody play fast, maybe. And there's a higher musical place to go than just that shredding where you really get things to pop and groove right. And that's not as easy as most people would have you believe. It's something I've been grappling with. So another, another real quick thing with the time, with the thumb, I'll play uh, right now a kind of a Wes Montgomery sounding kind of thing. Again, you can hear, this is just the treble is all the way up. And I'm just playing with my thumb. And watch how nice the timing can, can lay and the musical ideas can come through clearly. So this is a song called Coming Home Baby. Okay, a one, a two, a one, two. reason I'm, I'm showing you this in this video is I discovered that this tool right here, I'm holding this in front of my face in the camera, this tool, the thumb, sort of has just such a musical goodness and a wisdom to it that it's actually made me have to slow down, made me have to be less technical, but opened up a universe of good groove and a good sound so i hope that you have fun messing around with your god-given thumb to make music all righty god bless